Okay, in the last video, you saw me repair several items on the starship. Notice they're at 50% each. This one gets refueled by tritium. Uh, you know, let me show you... that the rusted metal see the number in the left hand here one colon two that means every one rusted metal goes to two ferrite dust so you see 63 here but 126 no one can access my refiner so because everybody's in the world for the difficulty uh, let's see Technology, scanner, combat, space combat. It adjusts the frequency. I'm going to make it minimal. Because they get real irritating when you're doing stuff. Apply difficulty changes. It gets irritating when you're doing stuff and they start attacking you from the sky. And then sometimes you might even lose your place where you were. Okay, so now let's see. We've got 712 ferrite. If we, you keep on with the refining the rusted metal, you'll have plenty of ferrite in the long run. Now you notice it says on the right hand side, awakenings. So if you go to the log, that's what we're in, awakenings. Find us, hear us. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. My exosuit at least seems to know what it is doing, and I am not dead yet. Okay. So it says use W to take off. We'll take off. I push W. I'm going to push the shift key to go a little quicker. All right, test starship uh, thrust W. So we did W. All right, notice it says one of three. Left shift for boost, that's left shift. Let's scan this thing. Oh, it's not gonna let me scan. All right, and space. Okay. All systems go. That looks like the space station. Technically, you're not supposed to go to the space station until later. Hit X and then F to answer that. Incoming transmission, source. 4925B, please identify yourself. I'm gzz. So I say identify yourself. You are not gzz alone. Follow the gzz. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. I input the coordinate data. Navigation data received. Notice the red and white mark to the upper right hand tells you that's the next place you're supposed to go in the plot.
Chiasmatic planet. Obsidian B. Paradise planet. And this is a freezing planet. So we'll want to put a base on the Paradise Planet. Well, let's actually You see where the blue is on the space station? Usually, except on the pointy ones, that's where you enter. Let's just look in here real quick. The reason I'll go in here is when I make the teleport, I'll be able to teleport to the space station. Because I'll have to make a base. And in fact, I have 9,000 units. Get an exosuit upgrade, that'll give you more, more equipment spots. Upgrade. Let's see if he has an upgrade for code. Since that planet is cold. 179, I don't have enough. In fact... Those are the symbols in the lower left-hand corner. Press the space bar to go there quickly. I think that paradise planet will be the best place to um, make our base. So I'm looking around before I land. Sometimes you can see where you're supposed to go. All right, let's land over here. There'll be a green thing, and if you land in there, it won't cost you anything to take off. You hit E when it turns green. And it'll be, it won't cost you any fuel to take off from here. Also, there's shelter here, so we can check this out. Could have used those nanites a few minutes ago. This system, Obkov, six planets, it's fuel generation satisfactory. Usually these are decent if the economy's decent. I hit F. 
it will give you a direction. Before we go, if you click on that white pole, it'll give you, if it's new and you haven't explored it, you'll get a free nav data. You can spend the nav data to call your ship. See that red thing there? I can click on that and spend a nav data to call the ship. Hit one to get it off of that. It's a jumping pineapple. That's what they look like. Hopping pineapple. All right, let's call the spaceship. X, because this was a long way to go. Arrow up, summon. Let's put it right over here. Sparkling wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher signal. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Entry. No fuel in. Zzz. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to. Zzz underground because it deployed base computer as well as the log entry the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator with any luck the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages extract plans base computer 30 chromatic metal Terrain manipulator, two carbon nanotubes, one dihydrogen jelly. All right, let's go in here and make a terrain manipulator. So tab, multi-tool, click, Click on Terrain Manipulator. I need a dihydrogen jelly and two carbon nanotubes. 
So I go to my exosuit. Because I have carbon, I know I can make the nanotubes. If I put E over that, it'll make another one. And I need a dihydrogen jelly. That costs 40 dihydrogen. The carbon nanotubes cost 50 carbon each. So now for the multi-tool, since I made those, if I click on that, I can click on the boxes and it'll put them in there. All right, now it says gather copper. But while I'm here, pretty sure I saw buried technology. So while we're here, let's grab that buried technology. What I do is F and I click on it to make it glow like that. Destination reach, G to switch between the guns. I put the gun over where the mark is and I fire. And I keep on firing and right where the mark is, is where the technology module is. Use E on the technology module and it'll give you the data. In this case, I get two. Usually, it's somewhere between two and four. Now, if you hit F, you can look for copper. Those are those circular things. That's 464. That's dioxide. Another technology module. Silver. Oh, another technology of 43. All right, let's go get this one. It's already on terrain manipulator. Fire where the technology module is. salvage data that decaying air purifier I'm going to e-dismantle it that ah, gave me silver worth 34,000 it looks like alright pretty cool 